okay so uh we uh, today we need to look at workflows and workflow action scripts okay so what are workflows as i told you earlier uh we can write a script or else write a workflow but what are the differences workflow has a lot of limitations than scripts workflows can't uh, work on line levels or item levels or whatever uh, it can work only on the header levels whereas scripts can work on all the levels okay and script has more functionality like script can perform more functionality than a workflow so uh, that's why mostly we prefer scripts but uh, oh, who creates workflows uh, than scripts like who uh, selects workflows than writing a script obviously it's an administrator or a functional guy because administrator or functional guy doesn't know how to script how to write coding so obviously they will uh, always uh, try to customize without writing a script so they are the ones who will uh, prefer a workflow but uh, coming to your situation so when you get onto a project whenever you get a requirement uh, you will be always thinking from a developer standpoint so you will be obviously going for a script only in rare situations uh, the user may ask you hey why don't you build a workflow not a script or even your manager or someone who is providing giving the requirement they may ask you hey build a workflow instead of the script so in that's that's uh, situations you have no other choice but to create a workflow but uh, just uh, to add it to our knowledge let's see let's know what is a workflow how does it work so you can access a workflow at customization scripting and workflows this is how you get into workflows and in under workflows you have the filters like on record types okay honeycomb they have a lot of workflows if you click on all uh, we see they have 23 wow that's not a lot okay there are 23 uh, workflows created in honeycomb instance and uh, see you can see custom records so workflows are it can be created on custom records and even standard records so standard records what do we have here okay you have transaction good so you guys know what is a transaction right all your order to cash and procure to pay processes all your forms they are all transactions even the general entries are also transactions okay so good there are eight workflows in uh, uh that are deployed on transactions let's see one workflow anyone uh, okay this one is running invoice collection workflow let's see what is this click on the workflow so on the right side you'll see the workflow summary so you click on edit so when you first try to create a workflow this is the page that you'll see you give a name you give an id uh, on which record you are trying to set a transaction on transaction which record is it okay this is on invoice record good and then description there's nothing owner who is creating the workflow execute as admin as you know or we have this option on the script even on workflow we have this option execute as admin uh, release status it's released so it will be, this workflow will be triggering for everybody okay and then enable logging inactive uh, enable logging even this option is there on script but we never use this enable logging so want to see what is this generates workflow execution logs for this workflow the logs will appear on workflow sub tab, sub -tab of any record that does enter the workflow no, why not it's a good thing enable logging it's a good thing generates workflow execution logs for this workflow so if this workflow triggers on invoice whatever this workflow is doing it will be shown under the uh, system information under workflow sub tab that's good so when you are creating make sure you always enable this okay don't enable this inactive okay the workflow will never work okay then initiation okay is it event based or scheduled so we have only two kinds of events in workflows either event based event based in the sense same thing like you are creating or updating say you can see here so event based if you select event based okay this is this is what shows up okay this workflow should run on uh, excuse me someone there's some uh, disturbance can you please mute your mic okay thank you so even uh, so even burst workflows uh, they can be okay so event based uh, workflows they can be created they can be triggered on create or on view or update or 
on all okay you see this workflow is tr getting triggered on all on create view update okay and then uh, trigger type okay after record submit so only when the record is clicked submit clicked save and the record is submitted to database only then this workflow is running on invoice okay let's see what's doing okay there's also uh, some more uh, features like event types you can even select here approve cancel create edit okay there's also event type edit here there's context csv import okay you're not doing ui you're just uh, uh csv importing some invoices then you can click this if you want the workflow to run even on those invoices which you are csv importing and then custom mass update okay you know that custom mass update we deleted the records in a custom record so even for those if you want a workflow to be triggered you can select those two offline client portlet schedule script okay these are all the contexts it's not required you give all this uh, currently this this workflow which we selected uh, no context is selected no event type is selected only the event definition has okay on create view and update this workflow should be triggered and after submit of the invoice record this workflow should be triggered and when you click on schedule see you'll, you'll, you'll be given a schedule option here uh, repeat this workflow every 30 minutes schedule date until date and what is this save search okay you can even select a save search here you can even select a save search so so from a workflow you can trigger a save search that's good okay uh, so this is on the workflow uh, page when you create create a workflow this is what you'll see uh, we can even try doing that scripting workflows okay let's do a new workflow see the same thing we're doing test uh, record type uh, let's do something on um, let's do it on a journal j oh no a c d f g h i j oh, there's no j here wow okay maybe it's in transaction right okay okay you go to transaction and then you get subtypes in this okay you want to uh, create a workflow on journal entry good you can do this and then description not required owner express admin yes uh, yes you want to release it enable logging yes uh, event based or schedule event based okay yes on create i want it trigger type okay on before load i want to do it is the option yeah before record load i want to do something i don't want to select any other things okay so this is what i want to do this is like when your workflow has to trigger okay you're giving the name you're giving uh, on which record how should be triggering released yes enable logging and then initiation of the workflow is event based or schedule no it's event based okay i want it uh, to be triggered when i try to create a new journal okay on create of journal before record load okay that's what i'm saying so this is how you create a workflow page okay and then uh, by default you'll get a state one okay so state one in sense when this workflow is triggered the first thing uh, it does it comes to state one okay so now within state one what do you want to do uh, okay uh, in state one first it does actions and then it looks into transactions transitions okay uh, let's do here actions okay create an action what do you want it to do mm, okay you want it to add a button remove button log create record see these are the uh, functionalities that a workflow can do so scripts can do much more than this okay workflows can only do this workflows can only do do these functionalities apart from this workflows can't do much okay so let's see what workflows can do it can add a button can do a real time export seligo export it can confirm create record go to page go to record initiate workflow okay a workflow can initiate another workflow Okay, lock a record, remove button, return user, send campaign email, send email, set field display type. Okay, let's do one thing, set field value. Let's do a set field value. Uh, transactions, uh, financial, make general entries. Uh, let's see what all we can, what can we do. Mm, okay, we can do posting period. No, reversal date, subsidiary. Okay, we can select subsidiary. Let's do, because when you try to create, subsidiary is not set. Uh, let's try to do that okay field which field you want to set do we have subsidiary great i don't see subsidiary here. 
uh, it doesn't help we do know again you see all the information trigger on entry okay and this is the thing when you click on uh, set field value it'll give you fields but i don't see much fields custom you don't have fields racket tab okay good we have some fields on racket tab we have currency here racket test date okay let's set this do you don't find this okay rbk test date okay is rbk test date present here yeah rbk test date is there. good so now let's put some date date the okay, what date you want to set uh, you want to set yesterday's date okay and yeah see you, you even have options to set a date static value you can set a static value uh, static any date you can set like 5 30 2016 any static date you can't you want to set or else uh, invalid date time okay we need to put some formula remove this then go to this okay or else you can select from these options like these are all the dates your uh, accounting dates and then 3 days ago wow today tomorrow yesterday or even you can do from a field from other field you can do this uh, do you have any dates on here yeah we have date here right okay so whatever date is here should be appearing in our big test date uh, for that you can go here select just date is it available okay let's see created date if created date is present current record okay let's see current record okay and field is the date is not available great so this doesn't work let's just do date yesterday okay so whenever we try to create a je this field should be set with yesterday's date that will be our action save okay that will be action and then on actions too we can have condition see here condition is there we can provide a condition and based on condition the value can be we can even do that like new action okay uh, another set field value we can do and where is the condition there should be condition button somewhere see your condition we have condition here so we can even set a condition saying okay um, what condition do we set now just let's take it easy so you just need to understand uh, so whenever you set a condition here if the condition satisfies only then uh, this whatever you are setting here will be executing okay or else it won't be doing so we gave a uh, action and then so how workflows work uh, in a state first it does the actions and then looks at transitions okay in transition uh, over here we can send it to other states we can create more states okay uh, how how is that done close this one create a new state okay over here this state we can do some other action new action okay state field value we can do uh, okay whatever any field memo okay on memo uh we can do a static value text okay uh testing a workflow you can just save this or else we can put a condition here we want to be done only a created date you can just let's see if date is available here created from or else user user role okay good user is there okay if user user name okay name id and one particular let's say contents okay and oh this should not be value okay value and put as a n so our condition is if the user id contains sam only then memo will be set to testing a workflow or else it won't okay save so we have condition on this we'll save this okay so after on the state one after this action is done the workflow looks into transitions we don't have any transitions but we need to create one 
for going into state 2 new transition from state 1 you should go to state 2 okay and um, that's it just uh, no conditions we can even have condition here if this condition satisfies only then you should go to the state 2 if the, like uh, you may even face some scenarios where okay if this if uh, values abc then go to state 2 if values xyz go to state 3 it's like that okay remember this point okay let's just say save this okay so you see the connection has been made because the transition is there so now this workflow what it does so we create a workflow on transaction journal entry and it's on event based it's on create okay and on before load so what is the what it does it first comes to state one okay it does the actions and then it looks it gets, gets into transition in the action we're trying to set rbk test day to yesterday and then in transaction we are uh, saying this workflow please get into state two okay so next it gets into state two inside state two what does it do we're trying to set memo field value as testing a workflow only if the user is uh, user name contains sam okay and then transitions uh, and you can even set a exit uh, okay it's not required actually in this there so is there anything we can set to end do we need to set if you say new transition to nothing okay there's no other state okay then we need not uh, create a transition for ending it so that's it we just created a workflow mm, workflow when we are trying to load a journal uh, it tries to set two fields one is done in state one and one other is done in state two okay and state two will be done only if uh, because we have a condition only if the user is sam if now if i go to this on invoice right no on journal okay a financial make journals okay i just went on journal see memo testing ever flow it's done because the username contains the same okay and then under rocket tab good we got yesterday's date see 9 16 is today's date yesterday is 9 15 oh it's even getting the time good <laughs> so this is what workflows does so even scripts can do this workflows can do this you know how to do it from script using apis and using workflows it's like this just create uh, states and within states the first thing it does is action and then it goes to transition so now you got a basic idea of uh, scripts uh, of workflows sorry so if you go if you guys uh, if by chance either one of you is inside our uh, honeycomb netsuite instance just go to transactions go to financial click on make general entries you won't see this memo but under rakesh test tab you will see this because your username doesn't contain sam that's our condition right just check it <coughs> if anyone has that interest just try to create a journal open a journal page and check under rakesh test tab you will see the date set but you won't see the memo because your uh, username doesn't have sam so this is about workflows and okay there's one more thing what is workflow action script so as we've seen workflows they can't do everything right uh, what can a workflow do you go to something here okay you say new action workflows can do only this they can't do anything else right so if you want something else to be done from workflow then what So most of the times your functional guy might start a workflow and then he may he may think oh he may get to know okay i can't do what all we need and then he'll say okay uh, i'll try to call a workflow action script and i'll ask the developer guy to write the, write the logic inside it so he'll build this workflow and he'll call a workflow action script and he'll say hey please write a workflow action script for me this is your logic you need to set that logic so so how do we create uh, how do we call initiate workflow is there something called call, call a script mm, initiate workflow if you click on initiate workflow what does it do doesn't do anything okay so i've never created a workflow action script that's why i am checking it so if you want to see where a workflow action script is go to scripts and then you go to workflow action but it doesn't make sense right if you want to uh, if you are if you, if you get a requirement you better do it in complete scripting 
then rather than uh, okay putting some part of the functionality in a workflow and then calling a workflow action script and setting everything and rest of the things in that workflow action script it doesn't make sense right but this method is used by bundles so you may wonder okay then who, who are those idiots uh, following this pattern like creating workflow and from workflow calling a workflow action script uh, it's mostly bundles over here you can see there are two bundles these all uh, might be just for testing or I don't know why they created all this so these are workflow action script if you click on one you just see a function right and workflow action script is called uh, using the name I guess yeah using just the name it's called send email to attendees w okay but how how does it call that's what we need to figure it out now okay let's see okay you see new action and within this there is somewhere you uh, call that script send email show message okay we can find on help let's click on help get some help from help Oh, I'm going to close this all before getting help. Oops, it's not working. Is help working for any of you guys? Oh. Just check if help is working or not. This doesn't make sense. Help should work. Oh, looks like help is blocked for you guys. Okay. What shall we do? Okay, I'll get help. I'll pause the screen and I'll get help from somewhere else. Okay. I just pause the screen and I'll return back the screen share. Okay. Now we are here. And then if you look at a workflow action script, I guess first you need to write a workflow action script and then select it. Okay. What all do we have here? Oh, that's the thing. First you need to create a workflow action script on journal that is why we are unable to see it okay but let's see one uh, deployments okay and deployments just this deployment what okay this may be not on not deployed on journals so that is the thing so why aren't we able to see any workflows here when you go to state create a new action over here uh, we're not seeing any uh, workflow action scripts actually we need to see workflow action scripts here why we are not seeing because there's no workflow action script that is uh, deployed on a journal so that is issue so remember this point whenever you need to you come across uh, where you have to create uh, a workflow action script and call it from a workflow the first thing you need to do is create the script first okay create the script first uh, under workflow action scripts okay after creating the script then you also need to deploy it how do you deploy it uh, oh applies to p net should ps mean this might be a workflow good just a second do we have a workflow with that name hmm okay net should ps meeting notes there should be a workflow with that name All. And to take this one. Control F, Control V. Yes, got it. So this is this is how it is done. Okay. So just remember this carefully. Whenever you need to uh, write a workflow and it has to call a workflow action script, first you need to create the script. Okay. First create the script. And okay, if this is an invoice, right? Uh, applies under applies to select invoice. Then, when you create a workflow, and the workflow is uh, deployed on invoice, when you click on the new action here, you will see that script because that script is deployed on invoices, right? That's how it is. If you want, we can try now. Let's try this. Uh, we we've seen a script, right? Let's try to deploy this again on on invoice. Mm, applies to invoice okay testing let's do release we can again delete it no problem execute as well uh, delete okay we just deployed this 
even on an invoice okay on invoice we did just deployed it now let's go back to our oops we are still not seeing it we should be seeing it for some reason it's not showing up but that's how uh, that's what i found it from help so that's how you call you first create the workflow action script and then you deploy it and after you deploy it uh, you, de you deploy on the record oh it's invoice and there is transaction right actually we're creating on journals oh my god that's the thing let's let me try and check this and that's why it wasn't showing up journal entry okay save deployments okay now it's even on journal entry come back to your workflow where is it and is it saved okay it's saved so now let's do in state 2 oh, we have a condition here we'll do one more and see the workflow is available the script is available good even i got to know what to do save so this is what happens this is how it's done okay so i save this one record has not changed good so now i create a workflow on journals uh, what it does when you create uh, based upon the summary whatever you're giving okay uh, it will get triggered uh, my summary is uh, on create uh, before load record okay it create triggers when uh, i'm trying to create a journal and that selected journal here okay and uh, when the journal page loads uh, this workflow gets triggered first it uh, uh, automatically gets into state one and there it does the actions and then goes to transactions or i mean transitions not transactions sorry so it does the action performs the action goes to transition performs the transition okay there's no condition then directly go gets into state two and goes to state two over here okay first it does the actions and then goes to transaction transitions there's no transition so it ends here over there itself uh, over here okay we have two uh, and how to, how does a workflow calls a workflow action script it's like this over here okay so first you need to create a script and it should be deployed on the same record on which this workflow is deployed and then when you come in come into any state and you click on new action you'll see that script because that script is deployed on the same record and your workflow is also deployed on the same record hope you guys understood it <coughs> if not uh, once you'll get this recording you'll understand it so what we do okay this is how you create workflows and how it calls workflow action scripts and it's all same thing all the logic whatever you have in script the same thing you can set inside your workflow action script also but if you don't have a workflow action script and you just have a workflow by itself <coughs> then you must know it's limited because you can't it can't do much other than these things you can just do only these things <coughs> apart from this it can't do anything else see even apis uh, set field boundary set field values does it have set field text see it can't even set field text it sets only field values or oh, maybe text can be done inside i guess yeah this you can do but if you are uh, setting text from one field to other i don't think that can be done or oh, even that can be done sorry from field to field okay so set field value set field text will work okay what else like okay you can't do search i guess there's no nlp search record right uh, there is no search record there is create record uh, that's it there's no search yeah and lot of apis lot of things which we can do in scripts cannot be done in workflows and moreover couple of years back there was a limitation uh, with suit bundling like as i told you guys suit bundling whenever we get a requirement we do or we create all custom things and then we uh, create a bundle and add all those custom things to the bundle and then bundle will be uh, installed in production that's how we migrate but mm, not really not really all the companies are using it only few are use handful of companies are using uh, suit bundling okay so few years back uh, this happened to me when uh, i got a requirement uh, which even included workflows and even scripts so i added everything and when i pushed it when i installed the bundle in production workflows wasn't installed i was like why does why isn't it installed so then i got to know okay it's a limitation suit bundling cannot install a workflow in production so it doesn't make sense so which meant workflows 
should be always manually created in production too. I don't know now, maybe now they might have added, the, added it. Uh, but since I have no, uh, no one's using uh, suit bundling anymore and I ha at least I haven't worked at a place where suit bundling is used. So I don't know whether uh, workflows are now part of suit bundling or not. So these are a uh, few limitations. Whenever you talk to a vendor or a client, you can bring up this point and say, hey, uh, even in suite bundling, a couple of years back, we couldn't uh, bundle workflow. I don't know whether it's available now or not, but still it wasn't available at that time. And obviously, if uh, that's a major part of your uh, ERP, like uh, whatever functionality you have, if you are trying to push it to production for going it live and for making it live use, if that functionality is not working, you lose trust on it. So that's why most of the clients, they're just manually uh, pushing their, um, I mean, manually deploying uh, all their functionality. So that's about workflows, guys. Yes. So that concludes our training. And hope you all have done your uh, first assignment. Just send me an email uh, with, uh, when you're done with your first assignment, I'll validate them. And I'll uh, send back response if uh, there's something, there's an issue with your assignment. And then I'll also give you, send you one more assignment. Uh, and it's not a mandatory, but it would be good if you guys do it. And once you do it, don't forget, just uh, shoot me an email that you completed your assignment. I'll validate it. If everything's good, I will contact you. But if there's an issue, I'll just contact you or I'll send you an email informing the issues. And then you'll be getting the recordings. Uh, mostly this weekend you should be getting the recordings. I'll be sending all these recordings out. Uh, even editing of some recordings out of 10 or 11, I guess only 2 3 recordings should be edited. The rest all are fine. So mostly I might send all the fine recordings first and then the editing ones a uh, little later. But I promise you, uh, within next week you'll be getting all your recordings. So uh, it will be like a point of reference for you. And whenever you have issues, just contact me, just send me an email uh, so that if you have any issues, I'll let you know. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll explain it to, the, to you guys. So, thanks a lot, everyone. And I'll see you when your uh, marketing starts. And mostly I'll be uh, contacting next time uh, with each one of you individually uh, to help you out with your marketing or uh, resume creating uh, or uh, your support once you get onto the project. So it's not like you're not going to listen from me again. <laughs> Certainly you'll be listening from me again. But it might be on personal level. Okay. Thank you everyone. Uh, all the best and uh, keep practicing. I'll send out emails to you guys. Okay. Bye guys.